Good morning. I'm Mac Saddled Murky, and I'm here today with Muscle Daddy Mark to discuss a very important issue in the world of muscle men, uncontrolled pec bouncing. So, Mr. Mark. Call me Daddy. Okay, um, Daddy. Uh, how long have you been suffering from uncontrolled pec bouncing? You mean, how long have I been able to bounce my pecs? Well, I've been lifting for about 30 years now. And my pecs have always responded well to the uh, regular chest exercises, you know, barbell bench press, dumbbell flies, the usual. My pecs don't ever seem to stop growing. Hmm. I can see how that's a, a, a problem. You can? I can't. I mean, what man doesn't want a huge chest? But when did the peck bouncing start? It just starts whenever I want it to. I mean, it's just flexing your pectoralis major. Every guy can do it. Just flex your pecs. Nothing seems to happen when I do it. Well, I guess you do have to have a certain amount of muscle mass built up. So are you saying that if I work out and build up my pecs, they'll just start bouncing? I'm saying that if you work out and build up your pecs, everyone will be able to see them bouncing. What if I don't want them to bounce? What if I don't want a big chest? You don't want a big chest? What does that even mean? It means, it means, um, it means, could you stop that bouncing for a bit? I'm getting distracted. Oh, was my chest bouncing? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah, sure. there. Oh my goodness. That sounded like you were hitting a rock. They must be very hard. Could I touch them? Be my guest. That doesn't even feel like a human body. <sighs> oh, my chest transcended normal humanity years ago. I'm curious, what are the advantages to having such an enormous chest? Well, everybody thinks that I can carry things in my cleavage, but that's not very practical. The main advantage is that nobody messes with me. Not only do I look stronger than everybody else, 
I am stronger than everybody else. Having a rock hard chest comes in handy if you need me to move some furniture, uh, lift a car so you can change a tire, or stop a rampaging elephant. You never know. Some people tell me that they'd like to sleep on my chest, use these babies as pillows, but I don't know. Who wants to sleep on a rock? I'd like to ask you about the hair on your chest. Yeah, there is a lot of it. Do you usually comb it? All the time. Don't you comb yours? Maybe if I had some. Have you ever thought about shaving it? <laughs> and look like a girl? Hell no. I think a nice coat of fur complements a massive chest. Don't you? A little bit of advice. Real men do not shave below the neck. How do you do that? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you.